Hello and welcome in to yet another Harry Potter 2 custom map. And this time we have quite a special one again. I feel like I say that every time, but this one is actually quite insane. Just from the textures and like the design of the level, it's really revolutionary almost. Because we take Harry to the future. As always, there will be a link to the map and to the creator in the video description, so make sure to check them out. I've got them recommended like a lot of times in my YouTube comments, so I think they built quite a few pretty solid maps, so definitely make sure to check them out. And as you can already tell from the pictures, it looks incredibly not like HP2 anymore, so it really doesn't feel like you're playing Harry Potter 2 for the PC, it feels like you're playing some other kind of sci-fi game. Really, really well made and a really cool map. Hope you're gonna enjoy watching. What year in the future? I guess we'll see which year in the future we end up on. But yeah, once again, same intro though. The guy who made this apparently very good at making maps, got it recommended a good chunk under the YouTube videos. So I'm very curious to check it out. Is it in English though? Yes, very good. Then, Harry Potter and the future. Let's go. We do spawn in this weird matrix thing. That's all I've seen from the map and I thought, okay, this is kind of cool. I don't actually know what to do here. I don't think I can move. Does it? Oh yeah, we do get closer, okay. So we get warped to the future, I guess. This is a cool texture already. Nice. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> I feel like the map didn't trigger. That's supposed to load. Let's try that again. Okay, we're still in the same cool matrix. Let's see if we die again. Or if it actually starts the map. Ah, see, that's what's supposed to happen. Yo, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that's not what I expected. But that's cool. Is this even Harry Potter? Any okay, what the fuck? That is way beyond what I expected. This really is future. Oh, that's a flip. Oh, that's a flipendo tile. I see. <laughs> yep, it's all chrome. Okay, interesting. I'm curious where this goes. Uh, first things first. Twenty secrets. Okay, <laughs> that's a good chunk of secrets. I guess aim at everything. Reminiscent to the cube. Yeah, I thought that as well. Actually, oh. Oh, this is dope. How do you even make textures like that? Okay, that's pretty sick. Like, how do you even make textures like this? <laughs> Very nice chrome bronze chests. Beautiful. I wonder if there's a secret in here already. Probably not. Yo, okay, that's pretty awesome. Oh, hello. But they, they yeah, the soundtrack as well is definitely custom. Um... They do have the same fire crabs though. Those are those are not different in the future. Nice wall walk. I don't think I should try and jump down there, right? I don't think that's a secret. If it is, then congratulations, map, you've beaten me. That's fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god, is that a safe book? That looks so cursed already. Yeah, fire crabs not extinct, exactly. What did this do? Oh. Hmm, I wonder what, what happened from that switch. Yo, this is cool. The soundtrack. <laughs> the star. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, I didn't expect it to be that kind of map, but... Oh, 30 stars. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a lot to do, chat. We have loads to do. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's That's good. Nope, they do ch they do change with technology limit. I'm sorry to tell you, but technology moved on. Uh, no, I'm not dropping frames. Uh, the quality might go down though for Twitch because internet is shit. I'm physically unable to drop frames, but the quality can go to shit. I might wait a bit. No, I think it's going up already. 
Sorry about that. I like the, the nuclear signs everywhere. Oh my god, this is too bright. I think that's a star though. I think I should go here. Um, good thing there was a safe book. I think I understand why there is a nuclear sign on this. I don't know, I didn't expect that to kill me. Okay, so I guess we need like an uh, anti-radiation suit or something to go in there. Interesting. Also what limit says, absolutely. Definitely sub to the channel. Ooh, oh my god, this is some portal shit. Also, I don't like that this locked me out. Oh, did... oh health. So that's gonna be chocolate frogs, right? I don't like that the secret locked me out. Okay, so that's chocolate frogs. That's so cool. Dude, I'm always impressed again with what people can build in this freaking game. I mean, I assume those are reskin bookshelves, but dude. And the soundtrack is such a banger. It's a bit like Portal, isn't it? Like, I think it's just gonna be some puzzle. Okay, nice. I know there's a star in there. I don't think we can come back to that, unfortunately. No futuristic chocolate frogs. Okay, we can climb this. Spongify, which I don't have. Is that intended? That's the real question. Am I supposed to have it or not? I don't know. Okay, I guess we push it in. I mean, I understand what to do here. It's pretty obvious. Just was looking for secrets and a way to get the beans as well. God, this is so freaking cool, yeah. Oh no, don't do this. Don't be an idiot. I really like the soundtrack. Where's this from? I hope this is not copyrighted, by the way. <laughs> I hope that's made like he made that himself or they made it themselves. And it's not copyright striked, but I, I doesn't seem familiar. Yeah, we need the beans. There's nothing like beans. Those frogs are filled with chemicals that heal you. Yes, exactly. Those are future frogs or frogs from the future. Okay, that is crazy though. Like everything just an absolute reskin. That's mental actually. And yeah, very futuristic. Okay, this puzzle I'm not the biggest fan of. It's just kind of long <laughs> and not very interesting, but you know. At least it's something my small brain can do, so I take that. I'm always happy when it's easy tasks for me. <laughs> and we can vibe to the soundtrack, so that's cool. I really, w I hope I, there wasn't one block you could climb, because you see the beans, right? And I feel like this, one of them might be like fake and you can go in, I don't know. Yeah, at least it's not like Ravenclaw challenge with the puzzles. Hey, not German chocolate, Cosmic. We have quality chocolate, clearly. I'm not sure if this is intended to be like this, by the way. You can scream, yeah, you can scream Han's name as much as you would. That sounds weird, but that's allowed. Do I get, oh no, that opens the door. Uh, do we cheat Spongify? Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have it or not. I'm just gonna see where it leads. I hope that's, oh. Oh, this is not a Spongify tile, okay. It looks like a Spongify tile. Maybe we'll come back here later or something? This is sus though. No, I just gave myself all spells though and I still can't cast on it, so... There's another thing I don't know how to get. We've missed the star already and now the beans. Yeah, it gives me like big portal vibes, but yeah, in case in case the quality went down last time, this is the safe book. Actually, very good. Maybe, maybe we we went back into it. True. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Half Life Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. A mix of Half Life Two and Portal, kind of. It's an HDD, yeah. Um. The fuck is that? You guys said crabs haven't changed in the future. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Good thing we saved. Are they one hit? They're one hit, aren't they? Yeah, sorry about that. It should it should hold for most of it. How much how much damage do you guys do? They're smooth. Yeah, all the radiation. Oh my god. Hello? Well, you think that's hard, huh? 
Okay, you might be correct. Nope, never mind. We can beat him. Tch. Imagine thinking that's a challenge for us cheating speedrunners. That room is actually kind of difficult, though, I think, if you don't have pause casting. Should I do it? Uh, you know what, let's do it the normal way. I wanted to die. Um, oh no, I don't want to see stuff, I don't want to see stuff. I just want to die real quick to do it the normal way. And I know where to die, here. Like, you have to dodge that stuff, and you only have one health bar. Okay, never mind, they get stunned. It's absolutely free. <laughs> I didn't think about that. They will never be able to attack you. Yeah, that is weird level design. I'm not sure why you can fall down there without dying. Like, that is a bit weird, I agree. That's the first thing I want to point out that's not... That's suboptimal, I guess. Also, for some reason, they get a lot of wall walks in those. So we have to... Oh god, we have to wait a bit. Until this opens. Yeah, at least we found a soft log, true. Not a secret, huh? I'm not happy with the amount of secrets I found. Ooh, alien isolation now all of a sudden. Going into the events here. Oh, this is so cool though. Like, the textures are freaking sick. Aww. No. This is some... Oh, this is so cool. Like, what the fuck? Okay, the question is though, what do we do here? We have mini snails. Do they need to get onto the pressure plate or something? Uh, we had a couple of decent runs so uh, winter, but nothing too great. How's the work going? This maybe? Aha! Indeed. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's... This is a lot of details that are very, very dope with uh, the way that opens and closes again. Very nice. I mean, I feel bad for that snail. We'll see a big spooder. Yeah, maybe in the future. Small small snails and big spooders. Could be. It doesn't work, like, too well, but it's all right. Okay, we're still missing a, sna uh, a star and beans earlier. Child murderer. The game... Oh, wow. The game makes me... Um, I'm feeling like a boss fight, but... It's HP 2, so I don't know why I'm scared, <laughs> but I kind of am. Dude, what the fuck is this? I'm, I actually genuinely feel like I'm in a horror game right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not very nice. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so cool. Also, you guys were correct with spooters. Maybe not quite the way you expected, but... Oh god, this is kind of creepy. Oh god, help. <laughs> At least they're one hit, okay? It could be worse. Oh. I mean, I kind of saw that vent being open, but yeah. Like, the atmosphere is good. Like, it actually is relatively scary. And I don't know if the music stops after we're done. Yeah, the spider part was correct. Okay, let's take the safe HDD and uh, continue. Also this, like just the particle effects, they're just so cool. Oh, I, I was hoping they would make you hover or something. But yeah, the particle effects alone are pretty dope. Oh, hello. Hello there. I, th I think this is probably infinite, maybe? What the fuck? Cannot make it in there. Okay, how do you even make textures like this? Dude. This map is too big for me. Don't quote me, please, on that. I said map. Uh, it, I am actually a bit blown away. Like, this is insane. Is this one shorter, maybe? Or does it lead to the same room? This looks like it's not a secret, I knew that. Didn't expect it at all. I mean, I assume those are like the computers and all that. Also, this has another sign of imminent death on it, so I don't know if I want to go through there. Oh, okay, so this leads into that room. Oh my god, look at this! What the hell? How do you make this? <laughs> 
I am very impressed. Okay, let's start with this, I guess. This is getting too big for me, but let's do uh, one path at a time. Can only mod at, at quotes? Yeah. Okay, I don't like this, though. This is, like, okay, it gave me a warning, fair enough. It did give me a warning, so I guess I should have expected that, but... How do you get in those if you instantly just die? Some Coda vibes? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Okay, wrong way. Yeah, I can see that. I can I can see the Coda vibes, or I can feel. Deserve the second. Okay, okay, it might be deserved the second time. Fair, fair enough. Okay, yep. In my defense, those don't have a warning sign. Did I go to the left side first? Apparently. You can also go down. This is way too big for me. Again, don't quote me, please. Health. Health door. Health door sounds good. Oh, it also kind of restarted the music. Dude, what the... Oh! <laughs> hey, Madame Pomfrey has made it to the future. Ah, good to see ya. Oh, what the hell? What the he Oh, I thought it's her, like, little laboratory, but... It's just, uh... Maybe... It I don't actually know what this is. <laughs> I don't like it though. But beans, so I don't care. Hey, it's Malfoy. You don't kill any of the spiders. Nah, I think it's just the rooms that damage you. Like the side rooms have poison as well. Who is this? He's kind of burnt to a crisp, but he's blinking, so he's fine. Yeah, no, I see. I see the Coda vibes. Like absolutely no. That's that. Like I think this has been inspired by a lot of things, but absolutely that was part of it. Also, getting those beans is incredibly annoying to do. Hey, it's Ginny! Hello, Ginny. And Goyle, and everyone. The whole gang is here. I'll get those beans, I don't care. If it takes until tomorrow. I assume, I hope my P Pomfrey is a good one, honestly. And this is, oh my god, it's old Hagrid. Yeah, yeah, the, it, yeah. Yeah. That's probably the idea, that it's kind of like a time capsule kind of thing. That's why they're all here. Even Lucius Malfoy is here. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I'm sick of getting those beans, but I'm getting better at it at least. Who's this? Is that Nick? Oh, it's Myrtle, okay. Hogwarts was not real in this version. Ah, it's all, it's all the fever dream, yeah. Oh my god, and Madame Pomfrey is still the nurse, because she's the one taking care of them. Oliver Woods, of course. No, it's like, it's good burning, Parepa. It's, uh... Who's this guy? It's Stasis Pots. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, now we're getting Matrix vibes. Again, this is probably inspired by a lot of things. Um, and then this is Pomfrey's office, which we can open, interestingly enough. I see chests in there, so I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, interesting. You can cast through the mirror. Is that the secret, maybe? Reminds you of a book you've read in school. Which book? Is that maybe the secret that you can, like, cast through this? No. Okay. Does she go in here, maybe? <gasps> she does open it. Oh my god, it's like Myrtle in, uh, in the bathroom. This is a lap in an insane asylum. I don't think so. I think it's more supposed to be, like, a space station. Does she talk? Oh, I would have laughed some like creepy ass custom voice lines. Uh, yep, thank you. Actually, almost didn't see that. That's a cool secret. I mean, it actually wasn't a secret, but cool room. Okay, I think we've seen everything here. God, what a dope map. Wait, I actually can't open those. I need Pomfrey. Interesting. Hello, Madam Pomfrey. You help uh, Harry out, please. That would be great. So cool, though. Like, this is amazing. I hear some spooters on the other side, I think. No? Okay. They're definitely somewhere. And Percy is the receptionist. <laughs> okay. Hello, Percy. How's it going? Many customers today, or... Have we been chilling? <laughs> he deserves that. Yeah, this is just frogs. I'll, I'll leave them for the future, because I'm not sure if we potentially need them. Uh, so let's leave them here. That's a lot of frogs. Could make routing interesting, but there isn't... I, mean, I guess there's a star in there. Oh, there's only more, like, stuff in here, okay. Are those all frogs? I feel like it's HP3 all over again. 
Which person needs that many frogs? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Maybe we, maybe we will. For now we unle Oh god, we unleash the frog plague onto this place. <gasps> ah, okay, I thought I broke it. It's Jordy Slytherin storage. Okay, so we've been through this door. The other ones on the other side kill you, so let's go through this. Um, we do know now that this door kills you. A lot of, a lot of safety zabas. Hey, Jamie, welcome back. I'm playable as well. Yeah, this one kills you, so we don't go through there. I should have taken the safe book. Absolutely correct. I'm just going to be careful. And we have this black matter, dark matter thing. It doesn't even feel like I'm playing HP2 anymore, honestly. It's insane. Like, what the hell were they doing? It's mental. Cutscenes? Oh. Oh. I assume that makes the other areas, like, travelable? Travel? That, there's no word for that, is there? But you can travel the other areas now, I assume. They're, like, not poisonous anymore. What the hell is this? Not deadly, thank you. Totally not ominous random room in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. Maybe that's gonna be an elevator eventually? Traversable, thank you, that's the word. And this is the other side that I believe we've been on? Yeah, it finally deserves the name Metroidvania. Oh my god, I've, I'm so lost. Where is this? <laughs> oh no, help. You probably could have. There's a multiple soft locks, I think, in this map, but I'll forgive the map. It's so nicely built. It's kind of hard to keep track of everything. Okay, so this is just for the star. Also, this music is getting very loud. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is just for the star, so we don't really have to worry about it. It's a banger, but it's, it's a very loud banger. Okay, I think it's a small bit of a maze here, but... Oh, no. No, this is the main room, though. This cannot be radioactive. All right. Um, should be this side done. Let's get the safe book, just in case I die somewhere, <laughs> which we've seen is quite likely. Yeah, yeah, the spooders are fine. What is here? I guess that's probably the exit, but we'll find out. This room is dope, though. Also, the red blinking is so cool. Like, really, really well done. Oh no, okay. Huh. I thought that would be where we have to go now. The blue death trap? Maybe, um, oh maybe that's what it unlocks, yeah, could be. We have to keep that one in mind, of course. Spooders are not fine, ah, they just want to play. <laughs> they need a three minute counter to explosion. Hey, who knows, maybe that happens randomly. It's here, right? Yeah, I kinda am worried. Nope. <laughs> it is uh, not traversable. Is this a secret? No. So where does this lead? Downstairs. Ah, oh, this is cool, man. This is so, so cool. Okay. Uh, we, I assume it was about PB, we did not, unfortunately, but thank you for resolving. Wait, so it's not downstairs, where the hell do we go? I am confusion. It's not downstairs, it's not to the right because you die, or do we just have to sprint through? I got the safe book. Oh, don't know what that is. I guess I'll try that again because I have no better idea, but that can't be it, right? Can't just be like run through quickly. I don't think. That would be weird. I'll try it once more. Maybe we can outrun the poison. Can't kill us if we're fast, right? It's totally how poison works. Okay, no, no, no chance. Absolutely no chance. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think you kind of get the idea of this. We just couldn't really find the correct way. So we were looking for like 40 minutes or something and I just had no idea where to go. I just couldn't find it because the map was broken for me. I'm still not entirely sure why. I'm not sure if it's the creator's fault or like my game's fault. It really makes no sense because the walkthrough or playthrough on YouTube looks like this. 
and you can see that they take way less damage in the poison, so it's like actually reasonable. Yeah, that kind of drained my motivation a bit after that. I didn't really want to continue that map, I didn't really want to restart it either. Just a little bit annoyed by this entire situation of wasting so much time for something that really just didn't work. But a couple of days later, I thought this map deserves another shot. Just because of how cool it is and how cool it looks and the idea and the concept, I can look over some of the issues that it had or the main issue that it just didn't work for me. Overall, that was still quite a fun experience to play this custom map. Enjoy part two a couple days later. We spent like 40 minutes on looking for it. I didn't have the nerves to play it from the beginning again. But since everything else, apart from that garbage coded damage stuff, is pretty sick in this map, I thought we uh, give it another, another shot. But yeah, the issue already starts here pretty much. When we found this obvious secret, and it's like, okay, cool, secret. And then you go in, and this happens. You just, you die. There's no way you can make that. You're not supposed to take that much damage. And I'm really not sure what's going on with that. I think the map is just broken. So every time we have stuff like this, I'm just gonna keep on healing. And uh, yeah. And that's just how I work around. Yeah, also in this room, there is a, uh, a spongify tile that doesn't work at all. Like it's not just that they didn't, like it, it, it's not just that we don't have the spells or anything. It just doesn't work, so. This, it's a cool map, it looks sick, but it has a couple too many issues for me, to be quite honest. But I, I, I assume you're supposed to get up here somehow with that. God, the spiders are not annoying at all. Ah, there's one thing here. Good thing I went back. Let's see if it works with more health. I mean, not really. <laughs> oh god. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, more health doesn't help, really. This is so stupid. Like this, it's a bit annoying that it kind of takes out the like the fun a bit of this map. That they didn't polish this too well. It's a bit sad. It's such a cool map, and I'm I'm actually annoyed by those like issues with it, on a personal level, <laughs> because this has so much potential, and it's just kind of not using all of it. Yeah, it's a bit like that, I guess. Okay, I need debug mode. People also compared it to uh, the cube, the movie, if you've seen that. It's, I think, very similar to that. Might be an inspiration for this, to be honest. Okay, so this is the area that um, damages you. And again, we take way more damage than you should get. So with one health bar, you're just never making this. Okay, I don't think this is anything. Which is just kind of an annoying glitch. Like, you're not supposed to take this much damage in here. So essentially, we've been here looking for, like, the actual path for 40 minutes or so. And there was just no way to find it. But that's okay. We've made it to new territory. Yeah, I remember this puzzle. Um, I remember this puzzle. I forgot how it works, but I think it just has to go on every side once. And then I believe it drains the uh, poison away here or something. So it opens the door, something along those lines. Yep. Okay, so we can do that real quick. Oh god, this is so annoying to cast with the damage animation. Can you go away, poison? Does it not go away from this? That would be cool, actually. That would be a cool way to do it. And now you don't take damage anymore after, like, fixing that. Anyways, though, we've done one of them. Dude. It's not even the poison in here anymore, and we still take damage. I think that's the end, though, so, uh... Probably not the correct direction to go to. Actually, there's a... Th oh! Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. It was the correct direction to go to. That's how you open that locked door. I remember we had that issue last time. Didn't know how to, like, open that. Oh my god, spiders. Feck off. Well, back to the, uh, puzzle room. We still have some chambers to open, like this one. Probably gonna die on the way, but we'll see. <laughs> I still have my refresh button. Okay, I don't need it though. We're good. Even with full health, this is like borderline impossible. It's great. <laughs> Come on, frogs. Okay, I guess we continue with this one, right? 
I actually kind of forgot what button makes you heal. Is it F6 or F7? <laughs> F6, okay, good. I kind of had to check before we die. I mean, it is a cool map, I'd say, Thomas. It's actually, like, really sick. It, it really doesn't feel like you're playing Harry Potter anymore, but... Sadly, it has some issues with, which make it a little bit of a frustrating experience. Okay, we've been there. <laughs> the chat is pretty lovely. I, I'm not. Not today, anyways. Uh, and then this one should be the final one. I hope we can make this with the health we have. And I'm not entirely sure what this unlocks. We didn't get that far. So from this point on, it would be, like, blind again. So I'm looking forward to the rest of this. I expect this map to be quite a bit longer. Um, poison, go away. Still not? Okay, what the hell? Why, why are we closing those then? Uh, spider, how can you survive in here? Wait, what? oh, that probably opened like something down below or something then, right? That's the final path I see all the way at the bottom. Maybe you have to kill all the spooters for that. Not sure. Oh god. Oh god, that's a lot of spiders. Sorry, arachnophobes. Wave after wave after wave of spiders. There you go. Now we don't get annoyed by them anymore. Oh yeah, this is open. Okay, cool. Oh, if they have the alien isolation alien. I mean, if they would have, then it would have not worked, first of all. <laughs> that much I can tell you. It would have not worked properly. This is cool as well. I like this aesthetic. Uh, have a good one, Veronica. Thank you for the good luck. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. At least the secrets seem very fair. Oh my god. <gasps> it's the room that Dumbledore found all those years ago. Since we're in the future, right? So, It's a room filled with fire crabs. Oh god, that's kind of... I don't like this. There's too many crabs that don't die with one hit. Oh wow, that, okay, that's kind of freaky. I mean, the, the map is just... Oh, okay, an indicator that you actually did something. Let's go. Graphic-wise, this map is insane. Look at the crabs as well. They Oh, they have little... Uh, they have little, like, uh, yeah, yeah, processors on there and all that. That's pretty awesome. What does this do? Oh. I guess this is not a secret. I guess it's something we have to do, maybe? Also the music, like it's drowning me out completely, I think. Oh yeah, it opens the portal. The portal to a different dimension. Is there nothing through here? I guess not. Okay. Through the portal. Oh, okay, that's cool. Can you go back? Oh, what? <laughs> Disappointing. Still kind of cool though. Oh, that's a spongify. Let's hope that spongify works better than the first one. Golden chest. Neat. I didn't even know there is that many different types of chests in Harry Potter that you can make like silver, gold, and bronze, silver, medical, all of those. That is news to me. I mean, that was easy to find though, at least. Portal to portal guy. Oh, we're in Bulgaria now? Nice. Bulgaria of the future, apparently. Dude, can you stop giving me beans? Don't get me hooked. I'm easy to get addicted. Hey, the Spongify actually works. Progress with the map. <laughs> I like the music, that's an absolute banger. I hope it's not just a re oh god, oh no. Oh, this looks kind of terrifying actually, this this looks like a freaking horror game. With just infinite corridors, but the path seems to go to the right, so we go to the left. We want to see everything. Yeah, th I thought about the back rooms as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad I'm not the only one. 100% thought about that too. It, it exactly looks like that, right? Oh, I know uh, Max sent me one of the, the dolly ones. Uh, like Argus Filch in the back rooms. It's horrifying. I should really post that in the Discord. It is actually, it's horrifying. Also, I got lost already. Why is this so big? Don't quote that. Okay, now we have an issue though. Do I want to go through here? And potentially risk I can't go back. We, we keep this in mind. The The purple one is a portal. Yeah, I thought so. Th okay, let's go through it, I guess. That might be where it leads because it's like generally the a similar direction. Yeah, okay, in a horror game, that's fair. In a horror game, I can see that. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that is actually exactly where it leads. Nice. Good job, chat. Or is it? No, this is a different one, but... 
I guess that's something. What does this do? <laughs> Snape meets Chungus. <laughs> also pretty good. Oh, and this opens the, like, the shield. Ah, that's what it did. Okay, so you can exit. Okay, okay, okay. That was the pink room. I've definitely seen a green and a blue one, so... There's gotta be a green and a blue portal somewhere that we have to go through. That's the blue one, yeah, that's the one we saw earlier, next to the yellow carpet. Uh, take care as well, Ray, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate that. Okay, this is where you're supposed to go. I don't think I'll step through the white one, because that seems like the one you're supposed to go through. And there is, at the very least, two more stars in this. That's the beginning. The fuck? Uh-huh. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That is uh, quite something. Oh, green? Green portal, maybe? Oh, God, my eyes. Yo, thanks for the Prime Gaming, Ayato. That's very kind. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Prime sub. And hope you enjoy the emotes and no Fs. Okay, we got the green star. That's something. Oh, I can't. It's so bright. Ah, you can just cast at it, okay? You don't have to go in. Fair enough. We just have to look for the blue portal. That looks blue over there, doesn't it? I think. Hey, Dino. Hey, how's it going for you? Hope everything's well. Uh, we had some. We did some HP3 grinding, so not too well, but now we play some custom maps, so that's kind of fun. Uh, wait, rat? Have we been through this? No, we've been through pink. Okay, let's go through rat, I guess. Didn't even know that's here. We had one good run in 3PC, but it didn't end too well. Oh, okay, nice. Don't think I would have found this uh, without just stumbling upon it on accident. Because I didn't know this red star existed. Yeah, one run that was pretty good until Willow, and then it died in Willow. And then I was depressed. We still need to find the blue portal, though. Okay, there's kind of a shortcut through this. Oh my god, I... Blue? Yes. That looks blue. That's where it is, okay. If I miss a secret here, whatever. I'm just gonna assume that's the final one. <laughs> and then we follow the the yellow carpet or the yellow platings or whatever. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's the broken room, I remember. Mmm, <laughs> very nice. That's what you want to see in your game. Clipping. Or whatever this is called. That's maybe even more extreme than clipping. Get me out of here. That's actually perfect, though, because that gets us perfectly to the end of the level. Or at least what I presume to be the end of this part, at least. Not the not the level. Okay. Um, interesting. Can't do anything. I think that means I can't open this. I'm not an expert, though. Ah, it's autumn. <laughs> it's an automatic door, fuck's sake. I have to get used to the future. The future is way too smart for me. Is there anything here? Doesn't really look like it. It's another automated automated door. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cute. That also reminds me of something. It might just be Alien Isolation again, because they have those spiral staircases. With the vents, vents on top. The future is now old, man. Yeah. It really is. Star Wars, yeah, I can see that. With like a big energy field in the middle. Obviously one of those had to be one. I missed a couple. But that's the first one. Okay, cool. Good. This is a cool segment. I like the I like the looks of this. Again, visually this map is very, very nice. Very beautiful. 13 out of 30. 10 out of 20 secrets though, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah, I, 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 it's a bit like the um, episode one Star Wars room. Not really, it's like smaller and all that. What are those rooms for? Kind of useless transition rooms or so? Merlin. Merlin 3. Oh, that's the ship name? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Merlin 3 being the ship name is nice. Okay, it looks like it's three different, four different barriers. Or maybe just one, who knows. Yeah, I like that. The Merlin 3. Ugh. Hey, welcome in dark. Uh, 
Yeah, it's it's not very pleasant. I can I mean funerals are never pleasant. Once again, my condolences, but uh, especially during heat, I can imagine. But this map is pretty pretty dope. Like it looks so good. I mean, look look at the detail in that texture. Actually, okay, I don't think like that's really well done. I don't want to know how much work that was. I mean, to be fair, maybe they've been just copied from somewhere, but. <laughs> Okay, the question is, does this open the full thing, or do I have to find more of those switches? I believe this... is this where I came in? I came in where it said Merlin, so it's not here. But yeah, the future is now. Yes, even boomers like me have to admit that. Okay, that one's closed. Yeah, I guess I have to find a couple more of those to open the path. The particle, part, particle effects are also incredibly dope. Wait, no, this is... I am on the other side. I don't need to open this. Hmm. Can you just make it, like, up here? No. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely impressive custom work. Oh, you had to do that, actually. I thought I'm finding a secret here, but... You actually had to do this. Okay, um... I feel like this is once again not cheese-proof, though. What if I fall down here? Am I just fucked? Oh, no. Oh, never mind. You didn't have to actually make it up there. I'm just blind and I didn't find this. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like you're playing Harry Potter anymore, Harvey. It's, it's actually insane. But in a good way. Like, it's a cool mix. It's a cool change of pace, I have to admit. Absolutely well made. Hey, welcome in. I don't think I can just jump into the middle here because um, it's probably like an energy field or something. It's on hpgames.net, uh, Tommy. It's called Harry Potter and the Future. What is this? Is that another one we need? Oh, look at this though. Look at how cool this looks, man. Holy shit. Like, in, in in terms of just building maps and textures and all that, this guy absolutely nails it. Like, it's insane. Okay, the question is, though, how do we get inside there? If we actually want to get inside there, maybe we don't. Oh, wait, the door is open. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can't go inside here. By the looks of it, it's just like an empty pit. So, a really cool-looking em uh, empty pit. Yep, this is Unreal Engine 1. The things you can do with it. Okay, same room as always, but with more slime. Nice. And real engine minus one. Yo, Zasta. Welcome to some... Oh, what the hell? Some custom map discoveries. Sorry, Peeves, I didn't want to disturb your slumber. <laughs> See ya. That was kind of sketchy. Wait. Is he gonna open something? Or did was I supposed... Oh, he does open the middle. Oh, okay. Oh, you do go in here. This this is kind of cool. Am I still getting attacked by peeves? I'm not entirely sure. This is kind of cool, I have to say. The elevator downwards. I like it, I like it. I thought it's a bottomless pit, but it really isn't. Is there anything here? No, I think it's just like more processors or something. Oh, this is a bottomless pit. Wait, one second, I have to try it. Oh, I can't, okay. I wanted to jump in, but it's walled off properly. Okay, this is getting big, eh? God, it looks so sci-fi. It looks so Star Wars as well with those, like those uh, floating letters and all that. This is cool. This is definitely cool. Definitely a pretty hype map. Okay, can I go into any of those or do they just open like afterwards? Yeah, completely custom music as well, which is just kind of sick. There's definitely something behind you can see like a sliver So they will open eventually <laughs> The fuck interesting theme Whatever that style of music is called. Ah, that was open. God, this is cool. I do feel like it's the future. This is like where they shoot the, uh... That's where the Death, St Death Star fires the lasers out of. That door has seen better days, though. <laughs> I gotta say. I feel like I'm missing something if I take those platforms. Oh, this platform also has seen better days. Rip. 
Oh my god, is that actually a secret? No way. That's not intended, is it? That would be a sick secret. That's kind of hard to find, I guess. Oh, maybe not. It's kind of obvious to see, I guess. But I mean, it has to be a... You've seen nothing? I mean, this... I don't even know how you would make this, like, glass plane. This is already, like, kind of advanced modding-wise, I think. Uh, not yet, nah. I might, I might as well check the rest, I guess, just before we miss something. This opens, though. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe, okay, that would have been an easier way to get in there. Never mind. So why is that hole in the window there? Hmm. Yeah, this must have taken quite a while. It, which which is why it annoys me even more that it's not polished. And that you take too much damage in one area and it just doesn't work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those doors don't open quite yet. Never mind. One of them does. Uh, I guess that's because we cast it at the Scourgers, right? Okay. Interesting. Uh, do I want to be here or the other side? Maybe it's supposed to... Even with more health bars, it's kind of not enough, though. Okay, there's more stuff here, though. So, there's another corridor with, like, energy shields or something. So, there's there's stuff. It's also, like, a pretty long map, which is kind of impressive. And what I always like, secrets that are actually findable. Okay, that's not a secret, apparently. We just had to burn... Or... Fuck something up. Ah, there's one. Behind the broken door. Beautiful. Why does it say 1 out of 17? Wait, what? Did I use debug mode anywhere? No, I didn't. Why did that break? Or did I use debug mode somewhere? Oh, well, whatever. It's it's still fine. It, it just doesn't count the... It still counts the correct amount of stars. So there's like 16 left. Ah, now this open because we casted Flipendo on the thing. I see. Okay, cool. I could work with this. How is this a secret? I thought that's the intended way, to be honest. Interesting. I'm sure one of those, like, ceiling lights is going to be a secret at some point. I know those maps. Yeah, it's an interesting question. Oh, it's a, like a like an escape capsule? I got scared. In my defense, I got scared. Can you come back? <laughs> I think we missed our chance. Again, not entirely cheese-proof, but here we are. We've made it back. Ignore that. Oh, oh, we're back here. Cool. Cool loop around. I like it. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Breaking the game properly. I, that looked clippable. Let's go actually breaking the map i mean i don't think this does anything but yep just wanted to show that you can also i'm not gonna get all those beans i don't care i mean actually whatever the ones that fall down i'm not gonna get but you could go back down all the way which is kind of silly because it would probably ruin the map <laughs> that's actually really easy to clip on um hello are we okay in here chest I think chest has like some some minor issues, but we'll just we'll just let it be. It's fine. Every chest is different. It's just how it is. Okay, let's get those, I guess. I mean, yeah, with brightness boosting, you could skip even more of this for sure. I honestly didn't even realize there is a path up here. Actually, I don't know if you could make it back from here without the elevator being there. It might actually not work because of that, but it might be interesting to route for a speedrun. Because you need the uh, the actual elevator to be here, I guess. I don't know. Wait, it's gone. Well, I guess now we can test. No, I don't. With one health bar, I don't feel like you can. You're just gonna die. Yeah, even with five, you're just gonna die. Another section that's a little bit jank. Like, I really like this map. I think it looks amazing. And it's quite creative, but it's pretty dang jank. Let's see where this takes us. This could be cool. Or not. I expected that to be a bit faster. 
Oh well. I am the Senate. Wait, that's actually, he doesn't say that in the Senate. Anyways, that's what it reminds me of. Those weird flying saucers in the Senate. Is this like the highway? What would they do if I just jump off though? Oh my god, this is the highway. <laughs> okay, yeah, I expected that to happen. Yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to, but... <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, let's actually write this properly. Yeah, it really looks like we're just playing a different game as Harry and not that there is a different map in Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Um, freaky. Interesting. That's clippable. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, fuck. Potential to uh, shortcut in this map. I don't even know if there is anything back there, but I'm seeing something I want to try because I'm not very smart. I could go the normal way, the arrows pointing me subtly in that direction, or... Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, wait, that's possible, though. No, okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's not possible. This way is way cooler anyways. Shame. That looked like such an inviting sign. I just kind of wanted to go there. There's a lot of doors Harry can't open, though. Okay, that felt a bit unnecessary, having to go in there to open this, but sure. Like, there is ways over there. I wonder if you get there later. I c I'm kind of curious to check those out, but I don't think you can reach it. Ooh. Change of music. Dramatic music now. Interesting. God, I love the music in this. It's so good. Like, it actually is so sci-fi. This could be its own freaking game. I mean, I, I assume it's self-made. I hope it's not from anything that gets me claimed. That's a good question. Can we Shazam this? Is that an, is like the app thingy? Dude. Okay, calm down with your epicness. Holy shit. The Matrix game music? I mean, who knows? Maybe it is. I haven't found a secret for a while. It makes me uncomfortable. God, this is... Ooh. Ooh. Also reminds me of something. I don't know what. I mean, look at that symbol. If that's not Star Wars, I don't know what is. Yeah. No, this is how 2022 would look if uh, if Hermione would have gone to the future. She would have like changed everything to the better, I'm sure. Uh, I assume we check out this first, right, before we go into the portal. If we can even go into the portal. Oh my god, the music! It's too epic for me! This is, looks like the first room. Wait, it is the first room! Oh my god. It's all a dream. We just we're stuck in an infinite loop of playing the same map over and over again. Okay, this is a dead end. That is the first room. <gasps> oh my god, that's the beginning! Mind fuck. <laughs> Wait, now I'm actually confused though. Does it just loop around? Huh? No, I wanted to see the rest. No, 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 no. I'm not done with this. We're not, we're not done with the future yet. We'll go back. That was freaky, though. That made me uh, question reality for a second. Wait, that is the beginning. Oh my god, it's a perfect loop. Yo, that's actually cool. That's why it looked like the beginning, but I hadn't done it yet because I ghosted through. Because, uh... Because we had issues. Yo, okay, that's that's actually confusing as heck, but yeah. Thank you for the good luck, Portal. It was quite fun, but we missed quite a bit. Oh, there's a bookcase. I'd see that right away. How do you open this, though? Can you just walk through? I think it's hp-games.net. Um, they have, like, the biggest collection of, of those kind of games. Oh, my God. How did this open, though? That wasn't open when I went through here the first time, was it? 
If it was, then I'm I'm ashamed that I didn't find that. Yeah, this might actually be Harry Potter Matrix. We might actually be in a simulation made by Ron. But at least there's still books in here. That's cool. The future still has the same ugly uh, old furniture. What did that do? We might have just found a secret within a secret of some sorts. Interesting. Eight more. How would you get here? That's a secret. How do you open this? Huh. Through here, maybe? I feel like this... I remember this. I think we found this as well. You've heard them call it that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the number one way people call it. What the hell is this maze out of orange stuff? Is it, Can you just jump into it? No. Interesting. We, we definitely know that's a secret, though. We keep that one in mind. Have we gotten this? I don't actually know if I was here, but this is literally... Oh, like this! That's how you're supposed to get into there, right? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's how you get in. Okay, I don't think we found that room. That's why. I've never been there for some reason. Wait, no, this doesn't do anything. Never mind. Huh? <laughs> I am confusion. What about the other ones? Maybe you didn't think you could make a jump that far. No, clearly you did think you could, because there's beans in here. So this is intended. It just doesn't really do anything. It's just the exit for the green one. Is there any other potential entrance? There's stars here, there's stars here. Goes down here, down here, down here, down here. No, it's only this. There's no other entrance. Wait, what? How are you supposed to get in there? <laughs> Let me go in there. Maybe I missed something in here. Let me go in there again. This gotta be the way. Anything else doesn't work. Oh, I missed this. I missed going up. Okay, I see. I'm just blind. This is how you do it. You can go up here. If you cut... If you cut all the... Oh, yeah, we've done that. You, you can get stuck there. Wait, but that's not all the stars yet. That's only a small fraction. No, no, we've, we've actually done that, and you, you can get stuck. Wait, how did I not find this last time? How did I think there would be a dead end last time? Okay, that's easy. That's that's how you get here. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, shit. I just missed something, didn't I? I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Wait, huh? Get me up there. Yep, I missed that star. Before I jumped down, I saw... Oh, wait, there's something up here. Okay. Yeah, that's where a lot of the stars are from that we are missing. That makes sense. And then in the end, you get out... Where exactly? Here. Cool. Cool. Okay, so we found how to get into that one, at least. What about the orange one? That one I'm still not sure about. Another one of those rooms. How did I not find any of those? I think because they just procedurally unlock. It's just... I think this was a dead end when we've been here. I remember that, actually. This was a dead end when we've been here. So you couldn't actually go that far. That explains it. That's why we didn't find it. And that opens the door. Okay, I understand. It just... Something just opened it throughout our uh, map adventure. So, uh, so it opened like this room with the star. And now we can actually make this. But I didn't bother going back here after it was a dead end, I guess. That makes sense. Cool. That's some more stars. Five more secrets. I mean, the secrets are pretty fair, though. I like that. That's that's my biggest complaint with a lot of custom maps, that they have super unfair secrets. This one, not so much. This one actually had fairly gettable secrets. Which doesn't mean I got all of them, but, yeah. Okay. So. Got everything so far. What is this? Wait, what is this? How the fuck do you get here? Oh, we haven't been here, have we? We've went through the green portal, but we never continued. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there's a new editor, true. There's been a new editor released, like, somewhat recently, so, um... A lot more people can make maps now, because it's, like, a bit easier. This is not a creepy hallway at all. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of awful. It's kind of cool that- Oh, this is a dark maze? 
You don't make a dark maze and get away with it. That's horrible. Don't do that. Okay, that's another one. Thank you, I appreciate that. I've started Twitch to, like, improve a bit with, uh, speaking English, mostly. The horror way. It really is. Like, that's... Oh my god, stop! Please. Spooters. There's a big... Sh oh my god. <laughs> the spider dive bombs. Yeah, okay, I didn't go far enough in the maze to find this. I guess that makes sense. What the fuck? Stop. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yep. They stopped eventually. I I feel like you're supposed to have Lumos in this, are you? Or is it not a maze? Ah, no, those are just those are just rooms for the spiders to chill in, I think. So I wanted to make it over here. Would there be something here? No, it's just empty elevators, okay? It's just uh just cosmetics. How is that possible? There's a star here. Wait. How do you get here? What is this? What is this area even? Huh? What the fuck is this area? It has no... Oh, it has an entry. <gasps> it was one of those rooms. Oh my god, I didn't check that out m enough. I just... Oh, that's a good secret. But again, like, I could have found that if I would have not been, like... If I would have been a bit more patient, I guess. So, it's a good secret. I'm just bad at finding stuff. Four more stars, two more secrets. That's gonna be hard to find. Also beans and nice purple chests. The chests are probably like one of the best things. I mean, my highlight is probably the save book though. The save HDD. <laughs> Just a good idea. Dude, can you stop? Beans. Ah. Hey, welcome back again, Nami. Yeah, it's been really fun. I mean, we've, we finished it, but um, just gonna try to find the secrets. Yeah, we, we have some time. We have some time. We wait for the beans. I'm looking forward to playing more, though. Like, we'll play more custom maps next week. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe it is stolen from exactly that. I don't know if they made it themselves or not. Oh, my God. Oh, I found that one. I remember finding that on the the first playthrough. It just respawned again. Um, that star I actually kind of knew about, but... This one, though, I did not know about. What is this one? How do you get to this one? Oh my god, that is sneaky. Holy, that is sneaky. Like, obviously, you do the puzzle here, you push the purple block in. That is a mean secret. <laughs> okay, nice. That's a nice one. But again, fair. It's fair. If you just take your time and look around, you find it. It's not unfair. It's not just a random pixel in the wall you have to cast on. See, I thought I thought so. So we've been here. I just ghosted in, I think. Okay, cool. So we did we did find it. All right, that's it. That's 20 out of 10. We, we did find this one before. I just, uh, I just missed the trigger, I guess. When I, when I walked in here or when I ghosted in here to figure out how to get into the orange pipe. Cool. There we go. That's it. That's the custom map for you. God, this team is starting to get a little bit annoying. As much of a banger as it is, but yep. Uh, that was fun. I mean, I don't know what I would rate this map. Let me think. Let me actually rate this map. So... Like, art style is amazing, as impressive, honestly. Like, the art style and design, the futuristic stuff, and the idea, I, I'd probably rate with a, a full 10. Like, the idea is really cool. I like the art style, the small details and all that. Must have been a shit ton of time. Um, level design also cool secrets very fair you could get all of them if you were really really looking music gets a dick like a big plus yo ryan by the way very big plus for the music as well did you just move your arm Ginny? you're supposed to be oh that's not Ginny. okay never mind it's a random ravenclaw 
Uh, so all of that are, I, I think, 10 out of 10, because they're pretty dope. B b if we get to the issues, though, mechanics not working, the poison stuff didn't work, um, I think I softlocked like once or twice, stuff wasn't super polished. There was another thing that didn't work, or the elevator didn't really work too well. Um, yeah, like there were some issues with it. Which I, which sadly were like kind of big and kind of the first time we played this when I didn't finish it. Kind of ruined my fun with it a little bit, I have to admit. Um, so those are, those are sadly a bit of a minus. I think I'll give this like a 7. Yeah, I think a 7 is fine, just because of all the issues it had. But it, it must have taken the longest time. Aesthetics alone and music and all that is a 10, but... I felt like it had some weaknesses in other spots, um, but very cool, very fun, very in interesting idea and also like definitely very unique. Uh, don't think we'll see a custom map like that anytime soon again.